This app is so much more than just an app for dumb TikTok dances. So when I hear these elected officials literally mock and make fun of TikTok and its creators, I'm disgusted. The message that I really want to get home. (laughs) That's all. (laughs) That's all you wanted to do. (laughs) You're the worst, dude. (laughs) He said three words and you laughed at him. (laughs) Dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I, first of all, this is not the movie 300. It's a positive. And I'm down for the sound of... We good to go? Good to go. Let's go. Raising hell. Praise, dude, you know what I was just thinking? What? First of all, net positive, baby. Welcome in episode yo, yo, 99. Yo, yo, yo. I got 99 problems, and this podcast ain't one. Nah. Is uh, what year do you think that song came out? 2001. Does everybody know that reference? No. Well, how old do you have to be to get that reference? You have to be 20, at least 28. I got 99 problems. That's a, uh, yeah, you have to be, if you're 26, you don't know what that is. I don't think so. I'm nah. also looking at it. Don't that. know. 2003 really mm. all right so that but it was in the it was in the lore of pop culture for let's give it five years 2003 yeah i got 99 problems was it jay-z mm-hmm. yeah i was rolling around uh, lilburn georgia in a volvo with the windows down and a subwoofer i yeah. bought off of my buddy on yeah. the tennis team yeah. and i was like i got problems throwing up hove <laughs> Who is it? Uh, my friend was, t- was telling me about uh, she she uh, uh, her brother's friend is in college and he like got he got um, he got like suspended from the team or something from for like smoking weed. Yeah. And you look back on weed smoking in college. I go, dude, if 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 this is too much for you, just wait. <laughs> if this is if if college is like anxiety. Just wait, bro. Life is coming for you. I don't know if college kids are using it as uh, self-medication. Oh, I think it point. might be more of just a recreational good time. Have a good time. They're not thing. stressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not drinking to run away from problems. They're, oh yeah, the problems are coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The problems, the problems are running to them. Yeah, yeah. Later, the ninety-nine come later. They just, oh, they just have really yeah. one. It's just yeah. Class. They're just chilling. That's the only problem they have. When does it? When does it switch over? To adulthood? No, when does it switch over to you're like, oh, you're using this as an escape? <laughs> when do substances go from fun to That's to what running. they say about that's what they say in rehab. <laughs> They're really like, funny. it's helpful until it's not anymore. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, it switches over. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. And then it, it never goes back. Maybe <laughs> it switches over in your late twenties. You think so? Mm, 30. I don't know. Any possible uh, any possible abuse of substances, I feel like if you're if you're not you know you can still go to go to your job if you're in your 30s no if you're in your 20s you're fine yeah Yeah. or they're gonna let they're gonna "Ah." 20s you get an excuse (laughs) it's like hey it's just a kid (laughs) yeah yeah he's not stressed smoking weed yeah let kids be kids that comes later Mm -hmm. oh we're not stressed baby and we're coming on the road baby this weekend we're going to buffalo new york toronto erie pennsylvania End of March, Durham, North Carolina, Macon, Georgia, Chattanooga, April, Rochester, St. Paul, Duluth, all in Minnesota. Three shows in Minnesota. Let's go. Dude, nice. We're back. They just banned uh, Uber, by the way. Minnesota? Uh, they just banned um, uh, the Twin Cities banned Lyft. Uh, San Jose, Santa Rosa, and Redding. Three shows in California. End of uh, April. And then Dayton and two shows in Lexington, Ohio. May, we're coming to Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, June, we're rounding out the 150 show plus emotional support tour. Charleston, West Virginia, Baltimore, Newark, New Haven, Portland, Tacoma. And wrapping up the entire U.S. leg. Oh, we've been to Canada, too, in Spokane, Washington, on June the 16th, baby. 150 shows? 150, bro. Flex, bro. We out here. Uh, this is, uh, we're coming in relaxed, ready, mm-hmm. gassed up because of our good friends at Miracle Made, baby. The sheet of all sheets, mm. baby. Get in there. Uh, Miracle Made sheets. I woke up on them this morning. Did you know that your temperature at night 
can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality if you wake up too hot or too cold. I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets inspired by NASA. Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep that perfect temperature all night long. Let's go. You and your husband, you and your wife, whoever arguing about what the temperature should be. I'm going to have what this side cool as the other side of the pillow. Get some Miracle Made sheets, baby. Self cooling properties, self cleaning, comfort, and quality designed. For yo skin, go to trymiracle.com slash net positive to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for someone you're trying to date, just kidding, don't do that. (laughs) Uh, If you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo net positive at checkout, you get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Let's go. 20% plus 40% is Andrew. 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 What was the question? I'll oh, mm-hmm. see. Sean, dude. No. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30 day <laughs> money back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash net positive and use the code net positive. Or check out the link in the episode description below, baby. Let's go. We're in. Get in there, baby. We are in. What oh, is new, yeah. dude? Nah, dude. Stacked up show. We're gonna get to. Uh, I went to the Bristol NASCAR race. Yep. Uh, we got to get to uh, so lots of Nashville things. The Riley Strain case. Yep. A lot of people don't know about. We're gonna fill you in on that. And TikTok. Yeah. Speaking of bands, you mentioned Liz. might be getting banned. Yeah. Are, are, are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. We'll get to that. We'll yep. get to the news. Hot show, baby. Uh, no, I was just I was just at the Bristol uh, NASCAR race. Yeah. And there was like. You guys are going to kill me for this, but there was like a TikTok influencer suite, mm. which not for long, not for long, dude. Mm. Yay. All y'all in here gone. Mm. Okay. So it was a bunch of like TikTokers that were all like that. They invited all of them out to not me, by the way, I was not in this suite. I was in another suite and my TikToker friends like come to the TikTok suite. Mm-hmm. So I can speak to this with objectivity because I wasn't a part of it. Got it. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went to it at the end of the race. Okay. Or it, so we're all, ch- all these uh, big TikTokers. And we were, I met one of this other guy and we were start talking about another influencer that we were friends with that uh, I was like, and we were talking about how this person was like very high maintenance, right? Yep. Not going to drop any names, but, and how this person was like, not nice to like fans and like not nice to like us. And, and I go, I go, guys, listen. And I feel like, as the, I wouldn't say the elder statesman here, but oh, actually, when's this episode coming out? This week. You know what this week is? What? I was born March the 20th, 1984. Wow, dude. You know what that makes it? Your birthday. And what birthday? Your 40th. My 40th birthday. How's that feel? On Wednesday. Yep. The day 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 this audio comes out. The day this comes out is I'm turning 40. Wow. Wow, dude. Dang. Do you, any wild. words for your future 40 self? <sighs> you know what? We had a good run. Mm. 30s was a good run. Anybody in their 20s, 30s is 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 it. Yeah? Yeah. Let me say this. Well, I'm going to get back to the TikTok thing. Sure. Let yeah. me get off of this tangent. Okay. okay. I cannot stand <laughs> anybody's, any comedian. We went to see a comedian. I'm not going to mention a name, but was just going off on how they were old. Mm. And... Is like, I was like, just die then. <laughs> Not, re- but like, I've heard so many, I've heard a thousand comedians be like, once you, once you turn 30, it, like, I've heard this bit 1,000 times. When I was in college, I tore my Achilles uh, playing wrestling, playing basketball. Yesterday, I tore it reaching for the remote. Right. Heard that a thousand times, a thousand times. And I was weird. I was leaving and I was like, talking to Lydia I go I just like it's like self-fulfilling everybody you know like perfect example have you ever seen the memes or like me when I made the plans versus me now having to do them yeah okay I, w- I went to a party on um Saturday afternoon my buddy from Bible study invited me to his party Lydia was out of town he's like come by my like we're having a like a, a shrimp fry or something never been to his house close with him Never been to his house. Didn't know any of the people there. Mm-hmm. I was like, you show, you know this feeling. You show up. No one's, everybody's in the backyard. Yeah. You knock on the door. Nobody comes to it. Yep. 
<sighs> right? Yeah. And you're like, it started two hours ago. So I was like, I'm late anyway, but I told him I would come. Dang it. I'm by myself also. Just standing on the front steps. Standing. I'm going to have to just go in mm -hmm. to a house that I'm, I double check the address. All right. This is, I'm just going to have to go in. Can you hear them? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, there's a, I figured it was them. Yeah. And I went back there, walked through the back door, had the absolute time of my life. Awesome. It was unbelievable. And I was like, hey, that's not anxiety. That's not social anxiety. It, that's everybody. Mm. You know, like, oh, I don't want to do it because my social anxiety. No. Everybody's like nervous to like do. It's like, I feel like, what's her name? Glennon Doyle. We can do hard things. <laughs> It was a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? That that's like a, it's like a, I don't know what she is, a therapist yeah, or something. Yeah. Like, he's like, overcome your like, but everybody, nobody wants to do anything. Mm -hmm. Everybody's scared to do anything. And it was like, unbelievable. Good. Point is, yeah. meaning like, oh, like, I want to be in bed. I want to lay in bed. All I want to do is just, uh, I'm exhausted. I'm like, dude, life is out there. Yeah. To be had. Yeah. And my body is unbelievable. Mm. Functioning on, on top tier yeah all these things are like self-fulfilling is what i'm saying yeah that makes sense once you become oh my body doesn't work anymore oh I'm have you ever seen a kid mm. just running around mm -hmm. all day till 10 p.m i'm like i'm trying to get on that level yeah he's not thinking about back pain no dude he's not thinking he's about ready rheumatoid to go. arthritis yeah and i was like i'm not think i'm tired i mean i woke up went to the nascar race watched the whole race drove i was like I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, my wife always says a body in motion stays in motion. Yeah, dude, Maggie. Gets so just it. keep moving. Yeah. Just keep it, keep it moving. Just what? Yeah. Let's get, let's go. Keep what are we around. doing? Yeah. You start yeah. laying around too much. Your body's going to be like, oh, we don't need to move around. Idle okay. hands is the devil's workshop. Mm. You're like, all right, all right. So if you're like, all right, is that a viral verse? Can't be. I think it might be. Idle, idle hands, hands is the, the devil's, devil's workshop. I don't know if it's vote. the devil's workshop. Vote. That's, <laughs> idle I'm gonna, hands. All right. I'm going to vote. It is not actually. Idle hands is the devil's workshop. I'm going to vote that there is a Bible verse about Idle Hands. Idle Hands is also a movie that I saw when I was in high school. Great title. Yeah. Here we go. Proverbs 16, 27 through 29. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Idle Hands are the devil's workshop. The Idle lips are his mouthpiece. Hey, 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 hey. That is the TLB. That is the TLB. What is the TLB? <laughs> I've never heard of the TLB. Look at that up. Is the it Testament Bible? of Long Beach? <laughs> <laughs> What's the TLB? <laughs> oh, the Living Bible. The Living Bible. <laughs> we'll give it. I mean, that's, yeah, not, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not really one of the, it's not in the starting lineup sure. of uh, Bible translations, but <laughs> we'll give it. Give me that. Uh, what do you want? Uh, you want to see that? Uh, NIV. Go to the NIV. Let's see if we got an NIV in here. <laughs> hmm. There it is right NIV. there. No, we're at one more up. There it is. Where? What one up. There it is. There it is. Down. This one? Oh, oh this one, one down. Right in front of my face. Perfect. <laughs> oh, these. Oh, it's a wild translation of the NIV. Read that. Hold on. Which Which verse? <laughs> this whole thing this is it a scoundrel plots evil and on their lips is uh is a scorching fire yeah. a perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends a violent person entices their neighbor and leads them down a path to is leads down a path that is not good drastically different drastically thing. different this is this is putting it on you <laughs> yeah the dude. other one is like don't be bored because yeah. the devil might creep in yeah. this is like you scoundrel how do you get you that plot and evil how do you get that from that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd like to see the original greek please yeah we're, we're gonna need the language of origin <laughs> all everything's a vowel verse and it says like jcv like john chris version <laughs> <laughs> who translated it Yo. Dude, you really want to stir up the pot in the Christian world? Yo. Release a Bible translation. Oh, dude. <laughs> if you came out with, yeah. a, with Devil a ain't Christ, got no riz. Yeah. Dude. A Christ version. You have to do the whole thing. Yeah. That's crazy. That'd be wild. Yo, this case. Oh, go to, to the uh, go to the um go back to that Bible. Go to the um the message. The message uh, translation? Yeah, yeah, the message translation. That's that one's like the most chill. There you go. Mean people spread mean <laughs> gossip. Bars. Their words smart and their words smart and burn. Mm. Troublemakers start fights. Gossip breaks up friendships. Facts. Callous climbers betray their own friends, very own friends. They stab their own grandmothers in the back. Where did grandmothers come in? Oh. Is this a Drake verse? <laughs> Where did grandmothers? What? Grandmothers were not involved at all. Y'all be killing y'all's grannies. Yo, what? That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's so different. Calloused climbers betray their very own friends. That's like a, social climbers? That's like, what are we doing? Start, that is, I mean, all good advice. Why didn't they finish? Why is the first sentence like, Nah, it's like a fragmented sentence. <laughs> Their words, smart and burn. No, smart like uh, 
I think smart is like the word uh, smart. Smart can mean like burn. It's like a. It's like there. It's like oh. a. Oh. Oh. Okay. They. I smart you. Yeah. Like yeah. That? <laughs> right. Yeah. This is supposed to be an updated version. Yeah. We're going backwards. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is like the intro to a Meek Mill album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got in our Bible message for the day. We got. We're good. Yeah. We meet. We met our quota. All right. What I'm saying. I bet there's a lot. All right. We were like out. It, it was like. We were watching me and Lydia and Stormy were like watching a, a game or something started at six, ended at like nine, right? Maybe nine thirty. Somebody's like, Do you want to go to Broadway? And by somebody I mean me. Mm. They were like, <laughs> who, who were like, you ever been like, I'm tired, but like on paper, you shouldn't be tired. Yeah. You're like, we've slept plenty, we've been chilling. Like you're like, I'm I feel tired. But it's like the guy who broke the four minute mile. Everybody's like, nobody can run a mile in four minutes. That guy does it. Then everybody does it. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, so it's just in your head? Hmm. Oh, so it wasn't, oh, I'm tired. You're like, well, dang, dude, I'm just learning something about myself right now. Because <laughs> I'm, yeah, you're like, well, once you turn 40, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. Everything's stressful. Dude, my uncle, it's not even my uncle. Uncle Jay. It's like, got to be pushing 100 at my shows chilling living it up stays for the meet and greet he's like i'm not tired he's like it's 10 o'clock sleep when i'm dead i'm good yep dang i'm gonna try to embrace that energy i don't like that i'm 31 and i'm like on the same page you're as like, like i'm tired. I'm like dude i'm tired <laughs> yeah. every day yeah you're like tired <laughs> from stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like dude i gotta I'm a, yeah yeah everybody's like i need to go to the doctor because i'm tired or like somebody told me and this is probably we'll get to the tiktok thing in a second is like everybody seems busy because we never, we don't have boredom anymore. Mm. When we were kids and boredom was like the source of a lot of innovation and like a, a lot of creativity. Everybody's like busy. Everybody's maxed out, right? Yeah. But you're also, everybody spends an average of five hours a day on their phone. Mm. So. That's crazy. Take this thing away. And I have uh, two calls this morning for a promo for the weekend on radio stations, right? Mm -hmm. I did the podcast and then I have one at 3.15. Mm-hmm. And then I got a book. Uh, Sanford is playing in the NCAA tournament. I got a book of flight. Yep. I got 10 hours. Yep. Is that busy? No. 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 But in between, I'm all, and that's, that's like four appointments today. Right. Dang. Well, that's like before we started, you were, you were Andrew was asking you if you're still watching Suits, and you're yeah. like, no, I got back on TikTok. Yeah. And it's because it's like that's the only amount of time that you have to swap something in or yeah. out is just it's there. that timeline. So it's if you go, yeah. Tiny slot. It's, yeah, but that's like a full of tiny slots. Yeah. All day. Because you're like, all right, well, I'm going to get out of here at 1230. I got a 130. So that's, what are you doing there? It's an awkward hour. I hate yeah. awkward hours. That's what's, what that is. What's happening then? Yep. Yeah. Because you're going to drive back to your place. It's going to take you 20, 20 minutes. Yep. And then you have 40 minutes. And so, yeah. Can't start something. You might as well God. just scroll. Yeah, start yeah. on your John Chris version. Of the Get Bible. in it. Oh yeah, I'll be <laughs> yeah. getting in there. Um, in the in the effort to wrap up topics, back to the NASCAR. Yeah, we were all in there, and everybody was like, "This person is like a nightmare to work with." And this person, we all had like more followers than that person. I was like, "You don't get. You don't deserve to be like that." Yeah, and I go, "Guys, listen, gather because there's other there's fans up there, and I was like taking photos with everybody and be like, "What's up? Good to see you." The, you know, asking about the race. I go, guys. We're all here. We don't have to work at Staples, okay? Any any opportunity any of us have, and I say this with all sincerity to everybody listening to this podcast, any possibility, I was on Good Morning America, everywhere, every opportunity I've had, every dollar I've made is because of people that have supported me. Mm -hmm. Every dollar. I go, we're not big enough to be, jer I go, Richard Petty is down there. He won Daytona 19 times. He can be a jerk. Mm. We can't. Yeah. And I go, as soon as I'm more popular, I'm blocking all y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't say that. But I go, dude, we, I go, hey, none of us have any ground to stand on to be, act like we're better than anybody. Mm -hmm. And they were like, I was like, no, I'm not even like joking. I'm not even trying to do anything. Put your cameras away. For everybody gather around. If the longer we do this, we get... I will take a photo with every single person I see at the race. I'll talk to everybody. I'll make a video for your aunt if you want to. We can FaceTime or what? I mean, the idea that anybody's like, you know, the biggest people on earth are like always the like most friendly. Yeah. Like the biggest. 
they're like, yeah, dude, he's the nicest guy in the world. Mm-hmm. Dude, now he doesn't probably come out in public much, but if right. he's out, nicest guy in the world. Yeah. We just don't have time. No. No time. And Denny Hamlin won the race, so that was a bummer. <laughs> so we Tough. all we all booed him. Sorry to I'm hear. I'm just kidding. I don't think it's okay to have uh, people that that you don't you don't like in NASCAR. People say you can't hate anybody because it's 2023. I'm like, no, dude. I hate when he wins races. Yeah, that's fair. But he drove a hell of a race. Sure. <laughs> heck of a race, baby. <laughs> drove a heck of a race. Uh, what do you want to get into? TikTok or uh, Lee? Let's get to TikTok. Okay. Oh, getting blocked. Let's hit that because you had that on the on the docket, and I don't know what it is for last week. Getting blocked. Okay, this is kind of in the same in the same vein. Yep. Okay, and there's a lot. Are you? Do you, how much do you get on uh, Twitter? None. Never? None in the last two or three years. Yeah, I, I just got off of it. You just, you're done. Yeah. It, do you it, have it on your phone or no? Yeah, it's on my phone. But you but just it, don't. It bothers me. I, I never open it up and get out of it feeling better. I always feel worse or more negative or frustrated because it's not, just yeah. whatever. Gosh, dude, what about Reddit? I have Reddit if I'm looking something up, like if I'm trying to go and get like the facts on something or you I'm trying Reddit? to see what people are talking about. Yeah. 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 And but I'm not browsing it. So you go Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. Back and forth. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. For what? Everything. Long form? Long form, short form, Shorts? medium form. Yep. You go to YouTube. Mm-hmm. You just pop up that and see what's on there. For sure. Okay. I saw, a, uh, I saw, and this is, do you have anybody blocked on any app? Um, I don't think I do. Andrew? No. Anybody? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got a handful. Okay, maybe just people that have been like that have like I would consider like bullying. Sure, like just repeatedly go mm-hmm. over it in any of my comments. All right, so there's like a trend, and maybe it's on TikTok, maybe it's everywhere about people that like say something to somebody and then they get blocked, right? Mm-hmm. And then they brag. Mm. Oh, I'm blocked by Elon Musk. All I did was ask one question about whatever and I'm blocked, right? Yep. And there's like a sense of like like a medal of honor yeah. to being blocked. Yep. Right? Definitely. By a celebrity. I would say especially on Twitter too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's a medal of honor to being blocked by it's but it's usually a public figure. Yes. Because otherwise you wouldn't brag about it. It's always a public figure. You're like, figure. I got blocked by my ex boyfriend. You're like, well, yeah, obviously. Like, yeah, right. and the restraining order. So that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Both. It's like it's usually celebrity. Yes. So you're going after them and they blocked you. And there was, there's, it was a couple like uh, in like, uh, like Christian circles, mm. right? So there were, there, uh, one Christian blocked another Christian, both high profile. Ooh. And he's like, hey, uh, all I did was ask a question about what do you think, whatever, right? Yep. Blocked. Okay. I'm trying to think of, say this, the most, uh, The way that all, all the people that like came after me four years ago, yeah, are not doing well. Sure, just it, it, the idea that you're gonna go out to sow discord publicly to tear someone down, they're not doing well. Mm-hmm. None of them are doing well. And that, like, the idea of you getting blocked is like not, it's not a badge of honor. You're being annoying. This is like my house. Mm. Your comments, your it's yours. You earned it. You built it. Mm-hmm. You're allowed to kick anyone else out of it for anything at all times. Yeah. And you think you're being like the righteous one. I'm the whistleblower. I told Drew Barrymore that she's uh like whatever people say about everybody all the time. It's like not it's not a badge of honor to be blocked. We're all trying to get along with everybody. Yeah. And everybody's like, Yep, I knew it. What I'm saying was true. No. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't like confirm what you were no. saying. It just means I'm annoyed at seeing you in my notification. Yeah, Please and that stop. should be of some sort of like not shame, but well, like it's the, it's the Maniscalco. Like, aren't you embarrassed? Aren't you embarrassed? Like, <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, dude. What are you doing? Because the equi- like I got blocked by yeah. Mark Cuban. Yeah, because you're being annoying. Yeah, like would you brag about like I got kicked out of? I'm not allowed in every bar on Broadway. Yeah. I'm not allowed into any one of them. I they were like, well, why, were you, what were you doing? They'd be like, it sounds like you suck. I'm taking the side <laughs> of the person that blocked you. Yes. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Every time. Mm-hmm. I got blocked by Mr. Beast. Yeah. Because you were being <laughs> annoying. Yeah. And he fired you from his company because you were annoying. <laughs> and you're still being annoying. Yeah. 
gosh. It just drives me crazy that that's like a badge of honor to be blocked. It's just such an attention thing. I think it's yeah. the ultimate because it's such a, it is a confirmation of they know who I am now. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, the public hey, figure knows me. God, you said it better than I did. That's see what it me. is. Yes. Hey, anybody see me. Yes. You acknowledge them. Yes. And, and I do it. And my girlfriend also does it too. I go, just block this person. Mm -hmm. She goes, I don't want to acknowledge mm -hmm. that I see them. Yep. That's what it is. Yep. How bad do you need attention? Mm -hmm. That you'll even take the ultimate negative in that instance, and you'll count that as a positive. Gosh, There's dude. something deeper there. No, nah, there's something deep. And I was yeah. try, I was scratching the surface of it. I couldn't quite get to it. Yeah, it's, it's an attention acknowledgement thing for sure. That's all it is. Yeah. If I got blocked by Drake, mm -hmm. and I went to, I mean, I would, and then I went to- Imagine, dude. Imagine you got blocked. What would you have to do now, to get blocked okay. by Drake? <sighs> <laughs> I don't know, be Bobby Altoff. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Bobby Altoff's fine. I got no problem. Be Bobby Altoff. <laughs> All right. I'm yeah, not talking with Santino on oh, Bobby, by dude. the way. Also, just, so good. It, that's a comedian, will, uh, a, a comedian will handle it. Yeah. Yeah, comedian will handle it. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about interpersonal blocking. Right. Because that's different. Because sometimes you, some person, like, I don't need to see that person. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be good for my mental health. We have a, a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. That's different. I'm talking about celebrities blocking non-celebrities and yeah. non-celebrities bragging. Yeah. I don't even want to say ick because I can't stand that word. Mm -hmm. But anybody making, oh, so-and-so blocked me now, is it's the height of embarrassment. Yeah, it's a tough look. It's a tough it's look. The bottom, it's the bottom of the barrel it's, on social. It is really. The, oh, I got brag. I made a. I made a reel with a, a green screen reel <laughs> of so and so. <laughs> <laughs> That's an L. It is That's an L. Hold it. That's an L to hold. Yeah. This person blocked me. All I must be accurate. All I was doing was asking questions. You weren't. Mm -hmm. That's like imagine. That's like, uh, like the lunch table at in high school, and you're like, "Can I sit at this lunch table?" And they go, "No," and you're like, "They didn't let me sit." I would not tell a soul. Mm -hmm. I would not tell a soul. Yeah, it's like the it's like the social media cease and desist. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh. Disney knows who we are. They sent us a C and D. Yeah. And it's like, it's like no, dude. Yeah, but you can't do what you were doing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so like, that's, so what do you that's do bad, right? What's, so what are you going to do now? Bad? Yeah. yeah. And I, and I, and I don't block, I mean, I have, <laughs> I have, nobody that I know personally is blocked. These are all people that have like, like bullied me. Just random. That are just in my comments. Yeah. Uh, like, Trash posting, like responding to everybody. Yeah, I go get get out of here. Yeah. So when you block someone, they aren't allowed aren't allowed to comment or like engage with any. No, they don't see you. They don't even see you. What if you just unfollow them? Well, the, oh, they, they can. That doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Yeah, they can get on my page. My page is yeah. public. So if your page isn't public, then come on there and just do whatever they want. Yeah. And I go, well, this is I built this house, the the fan or the page. It was my community. Yeah. What do you mean you you deserve to be here? No, mm -hmm. you don't. Yeah, what? Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I would block so many people if I was you, dude. I yeah, but well, not everybody's nice now, but there was like a phase, but they were like, I was like, well, oh, okay, well, they can't do this. Wait, doesn't that mean you can't do it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's like, okay, so you're gone, dude. So all the time that you spend doing that, usually. What are you going to do Where now? Where are you putting that? He blocked me. Yeah, well, that's not good. Right. And then it was somebody that's like blocked by somebody. And then they're like, hey, at so-and-so, just making sure you <laughs> saw this because you're blocked. By us. The same people who would probably like do it in person and get punched in the face by you and be yeah. like, dude, but John punched me in the face once. Yeah. Like, and <laughs> you're, you're like, they're in your face screaming at you, begging you <laughs> yeah, dude. to punch them. That's like, that's so annoying. You're annoying. Yeah, that's what this is. I got blocked by yeah. The whoever. Yeah, because yeah, you were trashing all their players on the, and then they blocked you. Yeah. You can't do that. Welcome to the internet. Mm. Gosh, but I have like nobody blocked. I have probably, I would probably say a hundred people. That's pretty good considering how big your yeah, audience out of is. A million. Yeah. yeah. If that. Yeah. Oh, this week's episode brought to you by Henson Shaving, baby. Get in there. I got one on my countertop right now, Same. baby. So do you? Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Hands and shaving is uh, where it's at. This sleek, ooh, this mm. little razor. Get in where you fit. Actually, uh, sometimes they don't. Uh, when I get my hair cut, 
uh, they do the beard trim, but sometimes they don't do it down here. Uh, but they line it up. Yep. So then I got to go in tight. Which is probably better because if they don't have the Henson razor. Nah, let me do it. Yeah. yeah. We'll get let out me. of the way. Y'all do the rest. Yes. I'll take it from here. Yes. Uh, Henson Shaving is a family-owned aerospace parts manufacturer that has made parts for the ISS and Mars Rover. And now they're bringing precision engineering to your shaving experience. Baby razor blades are like diving boards. The longer the board, the more the wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Mm, the more wobble, the more nicks, cuts, and scrapes. A bad shave isn't, listen to this, a blade problem. It's an extension problem. Mm. Henson shaving precision by using aerospace-grade CNC machines. Henson makes metal razors that extend point zero zero one three inches, which is less than the thickness of a human hair. Dead serious. You pick up this thing, you can't even tell there's a razor on there. Seriously, it's, you, it's like, crazy looking. How does it work? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Clog-free design, best razor in the business, and affordable, baby. The Henson razor works with standard dual-edge blades to give you that old-school shave with the benefits of the new-school tech. Cats keep it jumping like kangaroos. Uh, <laughs> you know what that is? You probably don't know. No, I don't old know that one. play is the new school fool. It's an outcast song. Nice. Um, once you own a Henson razor, it's only about 3 to $5 per year. To replace the blades. Yeah. Do this if you live in Portland because you can't get to those blades if you work at CVS. <laughs> Why was that necessary? Uh, that hmm. is not endorsed by Henson Shaving. Uh, it's time to say no to subscriptions and yes to a razor that lasts you a lifetime. Visit HensonShaving.com slash net positive. And pick the razor for you and use the code net positive. You'll get two years worth of free blades and a free razor. Uh, H-E-N-S-O-N-S-H-A-V-I-N-G dot com slash net positive and use the code net positive or hit the link in the episode description below oh our good buddies over at manscaped uh 2024 is the year to get scaped up baby it's time for a new year's resolution check in Oh, with Manscaped, baby, it's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep yourself tame. Manscaped's new Lawnmower 5.0. That's the one I got. Ultra. Every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. Dude, I'm 40, bro. I'm 40. I need it. Bro. You put the man in Manscaped. I put the man in Scaped, baby. Whether <laughs> you're going for a trimmer, that clean shave look, the trimmer as you cover, trusted by over 10 million men. Now, I'm one of them, baby. Now it's your time to get a grip on your grooming with your with this exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code NETPOSITIVE for 20% off plus free shipping. Oh, get it all. Get the whole setup, baby. We got the performance package 5.0, the lawnmower, ear and nose trimmer, uh, crop soother, uh, aftershave. We got preserver, anti the deodorant. Boom. Get it all, baby. 20% off for free shipping with the code net positive at manscaped.com. Get in where you fit in, baby. Uh, embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of Manscaped or hit the link in the episode description below. Listen, this could be doomsday uh, for a lot of our followers. Yeah. And we are here to help you navigate through. What percent of our followers do you think have TikTok? We skew a little older. We do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm 40 now, dude. Yep. But yeah. I would, I would guess probably. How, what's our demographic? It's like we really hit hard in like 28 to 35. Oh yeah, well, that's younger than me. Younger than you, but for in terms of <laughs> in terms of TikTok users. Oh, 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 I got a little oh yeah, so for, oh yeah, like, oh, right, yeah. I think probably I would still say the majority. I'd yeah. still say sixty-five percent. Like Caller daddy or something. They right. probably have everybody. Right. Sixty-five. I'd say sixty-five. I'd say seventy that have TikTok. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, a whole five percent, dude. Throw no shade at me over five no, percent. That's crazy. No, I, go, I was gonna I go say 90. like eighty. I go ninety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say ninety percent of our followers have TikTok. Yeah. Okay. At least. Okay. Um, but it might be zero. Soon next week, it might be zero. Yeah. TikTok could be shutting down. What's going on? And we've had that. We've heard this before. We have heard this before. Yeah, I feel like we've heard this before. I like. I do enjoy watch watching speaking of the tiktokers i was with them all yesterday right i do enjoy watching that uh that that uh that panic of this I watch, might I, shut down i like it a lot of the internet panics i do enjoy following them remember I remember when the uh uh hey everybody turn on your notifications or you're never going to see me again yes yeah that's the same that's yes. the you blocked me energy nice it's the same person that was fun remember that yeah everybody was like making real please 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 i go how bad do you need this yeah like 
I like I like all of them. I like doing, but I think what what going to rehab and uh, COVID it was like we don't need any of this. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but like we couldn't tour. I was like, I can't live without touring. I did. Yep. I can't live without the internet. Yeah, I did, and it was just fine. Arguably better. Which uh, which app is your favorite to scroll? Um, Not to, to post scroll, on, to scroll on TikTok. Yeah, for sure. By far, right? I mean, yeah, it's the greatest. Because I don't really get to reels. I don't like a scroll reels. You scroll the reels feed. I don't scroll reels. I don't either. Mm-mm, I ever. go to see them in my feed, but I follow. Yeah. Follow, please. Turn on your notifications, please. You're never going to see me. <laughs> Instagram is where I keep up with people. Yeah. TikTok is where I just am watching. Content. Seeing what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great app. Yeah. It's a great app. Yeah. It just spoon feeds you. We've said it on here. It's your scrolly spirit. Scrolly spirit. It's just giving you exactly what you hey, need. Listen to the scrolly spirit. Mm-hmm. Gosh. No, Taking you where you need to go. <laughs> Scroll, did you come up with that? Yeah. Scrolly spirit. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, but, but TikTok, they've threatened to ban it before. Yeah. And my, uh, all right. I think, remember when the, um, like uh, the golf, I'm like a big golf fan. Love watching golf. Yeah. Right. Right. And golf. When the, with the live, they came in and they kind of splintered it. And it's like, golf will never be the same. And like, what if we didn't have the masters? Right. What if we didn't? What if we didn't? Yeah. What if the best, the best music festival that I grew up going to every year in Atlanta Fest, and they were like, hey, we don't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. And life went on. Yeah. All of it. And I think giving all the stuff up or having gone without all the stuff, I, I mean... You'd be just fine, but I like to I like to watch people melt down. It's been crazy too because the, watch the senators meltdown. are doing their thing and they don't know yeah. what they're talking about per usual. No idea. Like no idea. Yeah. The, 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 all right, you want to? All right. So th- TikTok is in essence being threatened to be uh, shut down. Let's watch the uh, let's watch the first this example. This is one TikToker that I had a, a good uh, a good chuckle at. He's like at a press conference. I don't know where he is. This app is so much more than just an app for dumb TikTok dances. So when I hear these elected officials literally mock and make fun of TikTok and its creators, I'm disgusted. The message that I really want to get home. (laughs) That's all. (laughs) That's all you wanted to do. (laughs) You're the worst, dude. (laughs) He said three words and you laughed at him. (laughs) Dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I, first of all, this is not the movie 300. Yeah. <laughs> we are not, We. this is not the Roman Empire. We're not going to war. Mm-hmm. This is like, he's like it's inspiring men to like leave their families to go to battle. Let's yeah. watch it again. Okay. <laughs> right, run it back. Here we go. This is like the scene of Braveheart from the top. This app is so much more than just an app for dumb TikTok dances. So when I hear these elected officials literally mock and make fun of TikTok and its creators, I'm disgusted. Okay. He's got a point on the second part. Absolutely. Got a point there. For sure. Yeah. I, he just started in a spoken word cadence. That yeah. He started, he started in like a uh, William Wallace yeah. cadence and on the verge of tears, yeah. which let's back that up. Mm-hmm. I'm on his side a hundred percent. Same. When he's talking about, when it, not the tears. And not the, it's so much more than dances. It's a little more than dances. It's more than dances. Yeah, I'll more, give them that. It is, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is true. yeah, yeah. It is, it is the livelihood for a lot of people. Yes. And, and you're talking about, you can't close the border. You can't do any of the other stuff. And this is where you're going to plant your feet. Yeah. is crazy. Yes. I'm a hundred percent on his side there. Agreed. But people having full meltdowns, James Charles had a full meltdown and it was spectacular. Which is crazy because... <laughs> James is making money in so many ways. In the most he, ways. Like James could yeah. lose TikTok and be fine. Yeah. Everybody everybody could lose TikTok and be fine. I, I would be concerned if we lost TikTok that all these people are going to have to go out now. <laughs> yeah. And now we don't need that. But you don't have to see him in the tent at the race anymore. Yeah, we don't. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> we were in a suite, dude. We're not in a tent. Sorry, but. excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> if somebody how 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 much would you like would you like petition to defend TikTok? Like, like, to what lengths would yeah, I go? Would you like fly to like Washington D.C.? No, to like go to like a <laughs> like TikTok's version of January sixth. <laughs> Imagine TikTokers having their January sixth. Oh. <laughs> like the, the, like the Boston Capitol going live. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> never, dude. Walking in never unison. <laughs> Then the, oh God, TikTok dancing so, up up uh, yeah. whatever the street is up TikTok Pennsylvania is t- Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they go? Would TikTok just try to go in the Capitol? Who's the who's leading that revolution? Uh, to defend it, to defend everybody. It. It's, like, yeah, it just seems yeah. like a mass effort. Well, by the, everybody. It, uh, uh, the problem is, it's the the only platform to have the debate <laughs> is TikTok. <laughs> yeah. So if they ban, it, I mean. Uh, what I get on board with of banning the TikTok is, yeah, you're just going to give more power to the other companies. Right. And that's what I don't like. Right. You're going to give it all to Meta. Yes. You're going to give it all to whatever his name is. I'm waiting for- Mark uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to get to a point where it is like inevitable that it's going to be dead. Yeah. And then I'm waiting for somebody like YouTube to swoop in, yeah. Google, and just be like, yeah. hey, actually, we'll take it. Thanks. Yeah. We're going to buy it for the low right now and we'll yeah. keep it and we'll be the saviors and we'll keep you guys in here. Yeah. And then they take all the data and like you said, they, the big get bigger. Yeah. The big get bigger. Yep. And it's a, if so, you go, what could you imagine? I mean, losing TikTok. First of all, to, have you seen the guy, the guy from China who is like the, the, the guy that's like been at the leader of it? He's, he's the ByteDance guy, right? Yeah. ByteDance is TikTok. He it's speaks Chinese in a way company. that makes the most sense. He makes yes. the most sense. He's the only one in the room who understands what it is. What it is. And we got freaking Nancy Pelosi. Do you have that clip? Yeah, I sure do, Nancy John. Nancy Pelosi. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all. Yeah, all. before we go. What's Nancy Pelosi doing? Thank you. Yeah. I Thank thought you. she was out. Thank Same. you. Why, 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 what? This is this is the most, and I love this country. Yeah, I love this country. I will, I'll, I'll go to bat for this country. I, I was gonna make a January sixth joke. <laughs> I'd, I'd defend this joke, this country, maybe close to the, to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd stand for this country. Uh, this is an L. Yeah, for the United States. This is not. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tick, tack, toe. <laughs> and she got cut off there too. The last line is a winner. Oh, it is? Yeah. She goes tick, tack, toe, a winner with this hand motion. A winner. Who's writing this? Not Nancy. Hey, hey, Nancy, c- quick question. What is it? Explain, they're like, what? So how does it work? Like, remember in the last the congressional thing, they asked like, how? Like, so how do you make money from it? Yeah, that's the famous one where they asked Zuckerberg, "How do you make money?" And he said, "Senator, we sell ads." Yeah, what? What? Yeah, I mean, Nancy Pelosi would have to like tries to zoom in on. I mean, <laughs> if you gave Nancy Pelosi ten minutes on phone. TikTok, she would either fall madly in love with it and be obsessed, be like, or have a stroke and die. That's one of what the would two. happen. Yes. One of the two. And yeah. I don't know which. Right. And I don't know which one I'd want. Right. I mean, you know the... Uh, uh, <laughs> That's tough. The, uh, <laughs> that, I got no problem with Nancy Pelosi. You know the... Um, um, uh, <laughs> plus two for Plus Hitler. two for the... Uh, Very yeah. subtle. Nice. <laughs> you know the Hillary Clinton... Uh, the Hillary Clinton were in Iowa. Yes. Have you ever seen that? Yes. What is it? She goes, were... It was on uh, Snapchat. Somebody was like, yeah, is it, go to Hillary Clinton Snapchat... Iowa or something like that. Like she, what was the clip? Like she was trying to like somebody in her go to videos. It's probably right there. Some of one of her, uh, we're in, there it is. No, it's not it. Mm -mm. It's maybe not Iowa. Delete Iowa. Yeah. Hillary sent Snapchat. It was definitely Snapchat. Yes. For sure. Maybe it wasn't. We're in Iowa. Or maybe, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's, uh, oh, what was that other one? That was the six second videos. Uh, Vine? Vine. Maybe it was Vine? No way. It was that long ago. No. I don't know. We're in a uh, Hillary Clinton video. <laughs> there there it is. We're just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> I know it's close. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> Legend, dude. <laughs> Legendary. Was it? Is it six seconds, dude? The no. yeah, it is. Yeah, dude. It's the fine. pause. The <laughs> more like Chillery Clinton. You know the uh, you know the millennial pause, right? No, the millennial pause is when the recording starts and you don't start speaking right away. You wait a second. Oh yeah, and then yeah, you start yeah, talking. Pause. Yeah. yeah, that's what this is. That's it's the longest millennial pause of all time. Run it back, dude. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> Cedar Rapids, you know? 
<laughs> it's like, hey, we need to get some like uh, we need to get some votes. We need yeah. to get some votes in Cedar Rapids. We're just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Some young votes. We need uh, we need to oh, be yeah. in touch with the young crowd. That is absolutely. It's a. It, I mean, I think when the, when the uh, the left fights with the right, I go. This is not good for if you loved this country. This is a this is an L for all of us. <laughs> that is an absolute L. It's a tough one. Nancy Pelosi is an L for all of us. Yes, because she doesn't know what it is. No, and the other guy, the Chinese guy, runs circles around her. He's so smart. So smart. That guy. He knows yeah. what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. And he explains it. And he he's even going like, hey, we, and everybody's like, vote for this guy for president. I was like, he's okay. great. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down I mean, with that. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, but it, yeah, it's just like uh, it, uh, the, 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 the fury and the, the terror, the terror of the TikTokers being banned. I enjoy watching, but also I don't want to give all the power to Mark Zuckerberg. Is, that's definitely what we shouldn't do. And I don't. Who would you rather have there? That's what I'm saying. The, I, I mean, the devil's advocate question would be. Who's going to buy it? Would you rather have Mark Zuckerberg have all the control or would yeah. you rather have the dictator of China have all the control? But it's not all the control. Yeah. Like for me, that that's the whole reason why we need to let it stand. If, you, if you're worried about privacy and whatever, cool, let's bring the yeah. data to the US. Great. Yeah. Because I'm with that for national yeah. security purposes. But like if you take away one of the biggest apps, the fastest growing app in the last five years, yep. if you take that away, that gives more powers to like that brings us closer to a social media dictatorship type thing that you're talking about totally. where it's only one. Is there a has reason it. that yeah. they would take TikTok away other than security? I That's like the I primary seen. thing. And right? the thing is, is, is it's a it's a national security threat. Yeah. That's which, the only reason that I would which, be like. Which is crazy, dude. It's I'm starting to sound like one of the TikTokers. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. If, if, if you're worried about national security, you're like, what about the fentanyl? Yeah. What about the border? Yeah. That's why everybody's so upset. Mm -hmm. And that, that I I'm, I defend them there. Same. That's crazy. I now, would have a noticeable void in my life if TikTok was gone. Yeah, you, not you, just professionally. You, I enjoy TikTok. So do I, big time, a, a big time. But this is the way to have this as this conversation is reasonably. You don't not think, like not screaming like, the TikTok January sixth version of yeah yeah. We need it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I would say you do love it, and it is. Does it border on addiction for some people? Maybe, but if you sure. if you took it away, you would survive. Yeah, and you would be. Fine, just fine. Dude, have you thought about starting up uh, reading? No. Reading books? That'd What's, be a, what are those? Whoa, whoa, a really whoa, cool whoa, whoa. replacement. What are books? Is what that is a new that? app? What do you do with those? <laughs> reading books? You'd be fine. Yeah. Delete that. Go back to, thank you, dude. Nice to uh, drop. Dude. <laughs> Go back to living like the Amish, playing shuffleboard yeah. and volleyball. Yeah, the thing is, though, no. No, ah, okay, yeah. I just like don't want to do that. You got to reset your, uh, you gotta reset your uh, uh, floor for excitement. Yeah, probably. If they took away everything, if they did... What was the date of this? March. It probably been March the tenth, maybe about five years ago. Today, I was in rehab for forty five days. Didn't even have a newspaper, and they dropped me back off at the airport and go, "Good luck <laughs> with this, dude." And this had also been off for forty five days. They might as well have dropped you under a bridge with a syringe, dude, <laughs> and just been like, "Here you go." Dude. I mean, dude, I was I walked through the airport. I took because Lydia was had a layover in Phoenix, and I was like, "That's the airport. Mm. That's the airport that I was in. That I had the greatest high of all time. Yeah, of all time. Just you, dove right back in head first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I didn't even get on any. I didn't even have any socials. I yeah. just had texts. Yeah, yeah, nice. I didn't have my phone for forty five days. You ever gone to like a movie mm -hmm. for like an hour and 20 minutes and you're like, what is on there? <laughs> I bet you that had to feel amazing. Oh my gosh, dude. I was just... not having your phone part. Like being oh, like, yeah, it was unbelievable. Like the full reset. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Sounds full, like great. Alex, that's what I'm saying, Alex, the full reset. Yeah, but that was relapse like, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that relapse though, man. I'm feeling it right now. I know, I'm dude. sorry. I'm, I'm triggering right you. I'm triggering <laughs> you. Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was just like, it was like, like, just like. I can only imagine, dude, the notifications. And if I had socials, mm -hmm. because you go without. Anytime you go on like a uh, on like a fast, right? Or you go, you 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 are doing it 
with the assumption of returning to it mm -hmm. at some point, mm. right? Whether that's I'm going without sugar, I'm going without caffeine, I'm going without alcohol. Mm -hmm. But in a week, a month, or whenever, I'm going back. Was that you who who said the why are you counting? Why are you counting? Like, why are you counting your days? Was that you who said that? Maybe. I heard somebody recently make no, the point. No, that wasn't me, not me, no. I heard somebody make, maybe I saw it on TikTok then. Yeah. I, I heard somebody make the point of like, oh, so you're, you know, 150 days sober. Yeah. Why are you counting? Do you plan on oh, going back? Yeah. And I was like, dang, I've never heard that perspective Why before. are you counting? Why are you counting? Why aren't you just, I'm sober forever? Because yeah. if you go back, you then the problem with, with the relapse is that all, oh, well, you're back to day one. Right. None of those days counted. Right. You were five years. Right. Those days. One day in five years. Fantastic. Yeah. You're, you're down one day. Mm -hmm. You're not down. You didn't lose five years of sobriety. Right. It was an interesting take. That was not me that said that. Okay. Why are you counting? Why are you counting? Talking about sobriety. Yeah. Why are you counting? Yeah. And this, and, and this, this I don't count my, I mean, I guess I tell every now and then I say I, I'm been sober for almost we're coming up on well four and a half years. It's amazing, but I don't. I think there's a big difference between like you seem to. I don't count. Measure yeah, I don't in count. like large chunks. Yeah. Versus like waking up and being like it's my 175th day. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have the counters and they get the chips. That is. Important. Yeah, and I, I could argue that side as well. Yeah, like yeah, that is important, that, and certain yeah. people need that for sure. I just I just thought it was an interesting take. Never I'm 150 days way. sober, as if you you relapse and then you're zero, or as if you plan on like. If you know you're counting for the rest of your days, then why count at don't all? Don't count. Hmm. Yeah. He's like, how old are you? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not planning on dying anytime. So I just <laughs> I don't think that's the same. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many days old are you? I don't know. I just keep going. 40 this week, bro. 40 today, dude. I, listen, I'm going to have some advice for people coming to start next week. How do you switch up? Now you turn 40. Down. How do things change for you? I immediately get to look down on people. So that's nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of my jo a lot of my jokes it starts to be like, dude, my like you see over time you you start of like my parents this, and then you're just like kids these that you like switch it switches to like talking about well, like you're you're talking about people older than you, mm -hmm. then you're like talking about people younger than you, yeah, it just like slowly go and I'll, I'll if I was forty and making like youth youth. Wednesday night youth group be like, they'd be like, dude. <laughs> like, you haven't been in a youth group in 20 You gotta years, retire this know. bit, dude. You gotta retire <laughs> yeah. this bit. But yeah, I've started talking about aging. That's what I'll do my whole act. I'm 40 now. I had a hair growing out of my ear or whatever that is. Nice. It stops growing here and starts growing here. Nice, like, dude, yeah. I've heard that joke a thousand times. Yep. And I don't want to hear it one more time mm -hmm. ever. But speaking of, uh, you want to get to, we'll get to this one, one topic. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a serious one. Yeah. If you're not in Nashville. Okay. Well, this is kind of goes it's on going the same. national now. This it was in, it? it was in the New York post this morning. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you're not in Nashville. So we had a, a uh, obviously we talk about the bars here on Broadway a bunch. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a, was this last weekend? Two weekends ago. Two weekends ago. Uh, there was a guy that was at a bar, uh, got kicked out of Luke Bryan's and then he, uh, disappeared. Yeah. Which is like. He disappeared down by, and his phone was last pinged uh, down by the river. There's a river that literally runs right through downtown Nashville. Yep. And his phone is last pinged uh, down by the river. And speaking of TikTok, go to the other one first. Sure. Go to the, so that ev there's a million, I've been the most annoyed by this because my girlfriend works uh, in the news, mm -hmm. right? And so she works for the news, uh, does, and, and so they have, interviews press conferences and uh all kind of like investigators figuring out what's going on here right yeah they ping the cell phone tower they got that information uh going back and forth finding all and then you in essence log into the evening news and figure out the updates yep okay that being said now there's so many I, maybe it's because of uh murder mystery documentaries i think that's a fair take you yeah. think yeah there's a thousand like armchair detectives yes. on TikTok. Listen, if we ban TikTok, we're going to lose out on all this information. Yeah, for sure. So, all right. So in essence, they, they put out the public information and then everybody is jumping on TikTok 
and saying what they think. And these are like people that are like investigators. Yeah. Let's watch this one. Just so just so you can get a general idea. This is a girl that lo- is, uh, I don't think it's unfair to say that has her lips done. Uh, and that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. But that's going to help for you. the audio. Audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the audio. That's yeah. going to help you. And she's down on Broadway. Yep. And she's, uh, I guess, giving her side of it. Here we go. Yeah. And I don't I don't think she gives a ton of context, too. So 22 year old University oh, yeah. of Missouri st- uh, student Riley Strain was in town for a fraternity event. Yeah. Went missing after being on Broadway with his friends. There you go. Fair. We have new information from the Riley Strain case. He was actually escorted out the front entrance on Broadway Street at Luke Bryan's bar. It's not Broadway Street. Right. Nobody calls it Broadway Street. Not from here. Is it Broadway Street? Broadway Street? It's Broadway. Right. We're going to Broadway. Is it Street? It's just Broadway, right? Is it? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, but it, I, maybe if it is Broadway Street, no one that's ever been there calls it Broadway Street. No. It, it might be Broadway Street. I don't think it is. That's crazy, dude. So it, it, this person has no idea. This doesn't live in Nashville. Right. Has no idea. But this, 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 the algorithm is putting this everywhere. Right. At least I've seen it everywhere. She's, so all I do is scroll and I see this. And she's outside on Broadway. Right? She's out on Broadway. Yeah, talking about what she thinks happened. Keep going. Instead of the alley, which originally we had thought. Riley also was served one alcoholic okay, stop. beverage. He was kicked out the front door instead of the alley, like we had thought. Who thought? TikTok. Right. You where where did you get that information? Mm-hmm. It was not it was not verified information. You know how like on the news they have to say like allegedly. Yes. Or like because if you say the wrong information, you get sued. Right. This person committed if you use the wrong adjective. You get sued. Mm-hmm. You kiss, so everything has to go through a thousand checks before you see it. Not the case on TikTok. Right. Say whatever you want. Say I saw Riley Strain last night. I was hanging out with them. You can. Okay. So are you arguing to ban no, TikTok? No, 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 like no. Well, listen to this. This is why. This is why. So all week I'm going. I'm so sick of the armchair detectives. Mm-hmm. I, it makes me so because it's it's in it's wrong information. You're just trying to get on here to get views and cloud. Just say that and it's fine. You're like, I'm the updates on the Riley. I go, who is this guy? How do we know him? And he's just like, where? What information do you have? And he goes, I Facebook messaged one of Riley's uh, fraternity brothers, and he told me they were at Jason Aldean's. I go. Wah. Uh, what okay yeah re- all right reputable source okay frat bro one so i'm <laughs> <laughs> that's who has the facts that's who it yeah. yeah tell us more and i get and i and uh, anyway so i'm going off on this tangent all week and then pull up this other article sure this other article it comes out yesterday let me read you the headline tiktokers find Riley Strain's bank card in the river embankment. Wild. No, they didn't. What no, mean? they did. No, they did. But I'm assuming it's the police who found it. No, just no, a billion no. It's TikTokers? TikTokers. No that's why way. It, that's, I thought the same as you. I go, did, all right, did, what an absolute gigantic L. For the police. A woman says she and her friend who both regularly post on TikTok yep. came across the card while searching for Riley. Quote, it's a start. It's a lead. It's something that I hope leads to more answers. What? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. That dude, is- I'm going to lose my mind. That's the greatest L for the law enforcement of all time. Yeah. Of all time. What are you doing? I also had this thought yesterday, like... It was on the embankment where yep. his phone was last pinged. Yeah. And it had been like 10 days. Yeah. And they found his bank card. Yeah. Hey, find that bank card after two days. Find that bank card how the it, next day. Yeah, how did it take that long? And it, they didn't even find it. A yeah. TikToker. <laughs> oh, my. How was that? Dude, how was that not? I mean, dude, if I was the police and you have to have a news conference about this, mm-hmm. I would retire. Yeah. I would resign. 
This is that's this is so, what pours gasoline on the yes. fire that is TikTok conspiracists. Yes, like that's exact. This is ammo for that. The most ammo. Y'all didn't find it. Y'all didn't find we it. We did. That's we're the, making changes and we're making a difference. What are you doing? We'll it's do your it. job, this, dude. That's like imagine. I'm working my nine to five. I'm cre- I'm paying taxes to fund your operation to find these things out, the, and then I'm doing your job. And I don't even know this kid. I'm yep. just a yep. TikToker. Yep. That's like. Dude, if you were like, wow, like a like a, I'm trying to think of examples. There's probably a hundred of them. That's like a guy that doesn't play basketball, like sitting on the court side, or like we need another player, comes in and scores forty. Yeah, everybody retire, mm-hmm. everybody quit. Yeah, that's like a golfer. You're like, a, and this guy goes, he somehow got a sponsor's exemption because of the company he worked at to play in the Waste Management Open. He's the CEO's son and wins. Yeah. That's the, so embarrassing for every golfer. Yeah. At minimum, you got to you gotta put these people on contract as like contracted <laughs> investigators. They have to be. <laughs> yeah. They're doing your job better than you are on as hobbyists. At just chilling. Yep. That's what it did. And it doesn't seem like it should have been that hard of a thing to discover. No. Now, the, it, all right, first of all, I have a thousand issues with this. Why isn't it police? Why isn't that blocked off the river? The, the, that part. Yes. They didn't go. They're not two miles away. They're where his phone was last. So he went in the river there. They're on the river bank. Yeah, it's a hundred yards from Broadway. It's right there. I cannot believe it. And maybe this is not true. That's like Andrew said. But it's true. It, I they were on, this was this was posted. Uh, they were on TikTok live. This was posted yesterday morning. I haven't seen anybody rescind it at all or come back and amend it and be like, no, actually, that isn't what happened. They found it on day nine. Now. What? To defend the police. Go ahead, you've dude. You've seen this <laughs> embankment that this was found. Yeah. It's there's trash everywhere. There's homeless people like living on the side of this hill. It's like trees. It's like straight down. It, it's not like it was just like dirt. And yeah, then like, yeah, oh, yeah. look, Walking there's around. this one. Yeah. Like it was probably buried in a bunch of other stuff, potentially, maybe. But how did but two TikTok still, girls yeah. get down there? Yeah. Dude, it's not hey. for them either. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I have I have two problems with it. How do they have it's, access to the area? Yeah. Like you're saying. And yes. then how are they the ones finding it? On live. It's they found it live. Job. Oh my gosh. Imagine being tuned in for that live. By the way, that's another reason we need TikTok. TikTok live. Yeah, are crazy. dude, we got to have it. Dude, yeah. we got it. That's insane. I mean, I, that's it's like sad is what it is. It, it is. that It's, I don't know how you have a news conference. Mm-hmm. If they, they've, the police, the, I'm not gonna. I don't want to go on it, but no, nobody. I'm 40. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> in stand-up comedy. I'll, I'll be the first person that I do not know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm looking for like um, walking around, looking for like uh, inspiration for like jokes. I write stuff down. I'm gonna go to open mic night tonight to like try stuff. I like. Like if if a if a comedian and this is what I do, mm-hmm. this is what I do for a, a, a living. If another comedian goes, can you help me? Do I go? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing too. Sure, I have no idea. When I was young, I thought a forty year old knew. Mm. I was in. The, we were at the TikTok suite. At the, I was like, how come there's no adults here? <laughs> no, but you. This goes to show you. You, no one knows. No, nobody knows what they're doing. No, at anything. Mm -mm. Not in this country. No, you get small glimpses of feeling like you know what you're doing. Yeah, but the majority of the time, you're just like, I don't, I don't know. Nobody knows. Mm -mm. That's what. That's that's my first takeaway of turning forty. Nobody knows. Cool. Now you have some uh, things that have worked for you. Yeah. In podcasting, Mm -hmm. they go in general, but. We're we're figuring this out as we go. Oh, for sure. We you've been doing podcasting for forever. Yeah, I've been a stand up comic for fifteen years. Yep. Wow. Have I? No, it's a twenty. No, that's not true. I was not even uh, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, close. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But you go to the show, and that looks pretty polished. Yep. It does look like a a production. Yeah. And and but and did nobody like ask somebody how to use like ask I remember like having like a social media guy 
that like I hired to do social media. And I was like, hey, can you like post? I, I, I gave him my phone to like post and I could see he didn't know what he was doing. I go, oh, you, I go, should I post a reel or on the feed or something? He goes, what? I go, oh, you're like my social media guy. <laughs> Your agent, your manager, your real estate agent, no one knows what they're doing. For sure. They don't. Mm -hmm. And that's that's beautiful to finally, there's like, it, there's like used to be guys that like a, are experts, but you can teach anyone, anyone else's job for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Gosh, dude. It's wild. It is truly wild that every, it's some like, hey, you look, you're like, these are the people in charge of this city? Mm -hmm. How is it operating? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, that is cr that should be terrifying. Yeah, Th I mean, this is the them finding this clue is Two the is the equivalent of you being like, "Hey, come on the road with me and come do a set." Yeah, and I've never done any minutes on stage ever, ovation. and I crush for sixty minutes. You'd be like, "Oh, for sixty minutes, also." You'd, yeah, you'd be like, "Oh, um, I don't do this anymore." Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. I work don't for Alex now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No one knows. You just be like, what, what, what so are you just, talking about? Yeah. This is also the biggest development in this entire right missing in nine days. Case. Right in it's, nine days. Yeah, there's nothing else. I, yeah. I mean, I sent it to Lydia. I go, she goes, I know, I know. It's the only development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. Imagine the vibe in the room with you know the lead. Yeah. Whoever's got running point on the case, yeah, yeah, all the detectives, all the officers. Hey guys, so we have hey, new evidence this morning. Can we uh, everybody meet in the conference room? Because the guy that's starting, the guy that's doing the uh, the meeting, yeah. he doesn't go out in the field, right? Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, Kylie and Brooke found his credit card. <laughs> Kylie 615420XO found this. <laughs> and she called the police. Don't call the police. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. We should call Kylie. Yes, call her. <laughs> That's like everybody, you know, like in other countries that they're like, they're like, oh, like they just have like their own security mm. and their own doctors. Yeah. Because they're like, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, imagine. We're probably headed that way too, by the way. Yeah. On, on security and on 100%. medical. No, it's so. already, everybody. Are, what? Imagine the police not doing anything, finding this, and then calling them. Mm -hmm. That's calling the people that have already waved the flag and said they don't know what they're doing. We've also seen, like, how, especially with, you brought up the true crime thing earlier, how many documentaries have happened because of because social people media. go and, like Reddit specifically, yeah. will go and find out all these extra clues after yep. the police have already closed the case. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, well, we're forced now to reopen it. And yep. also, it's so interesting. Let's create a That's doc about happened. this. Yep. And then also it gets solved. That's what and happened like to Up guys, and Vanished. It's yes. the biggest podcast. It was, uh, he, I forgot how it started. He was like an amateur, like filmmaker. Yeah. And he, somebody sent him something and he just posted. And then somebody, it was a Reddit, it wasn't even Reddit thread. It was like a blog. Mm -hmm. And it was like, hey, I suggest you keep your mouth shut about this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yep. Guess here we got we something. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess we got here one here. Here we go. But yeah, you assume, like you assume, um, uh, like uh, uh, I just watched the American Horror Story or whatever it is. That it's the same type of thing that the police were like. You assume if you, we've had like uh stalkers and stuff come to the house. Yeah, and that that we have like a cease and desist or like re uh restraining orders or whatever. Like you assume, oh, they got it. Mm -hmm. the, they're like monitoring it. Right. I go. No, they're not. No. And this girl lives in like a lives in like a um another city. And I go, I go, send the they're not they got stuff to do. Yeah. I go, I'm gonna call one of my buddies when we were going, we were going to, in essence, we were going to a city that the person that is legally not allowed to contact me. And they were like, we're gonna put um um we're gonna hire all these cops, right? Because you can hire cops to be like, we're going to hire a private security to be like block the doors, like be between the tour bus to monitor the uh, entrance to the uh, venue to be in the lobby. I go, or, or I got a buddy named Chase that lives in that city. I'll pay him $300 
to sit in front of her house. Yeah. yeah. And if she leaves, let us know. Yeah, let's play offense. Yeah, I, I feel... <laughs> I feel <laughs> that's what that is. You're, let's not. We're not going to sit back in this zone defense no, here at, dude, the, at the club and and cost ourselves a thousands of dollars. By the way, yeah, full court no, press, w- w- led by me. Yeah, but that's like sounds like some kind of like. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to do that. What? I don't think you're allowed to sit outside someone's house. Yeah, are you? For sure, you are. I mean, I think you can. I think that's, yeah, yeah. For yeah, a yeah. night, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can. Not and then we're not sitting on their front porch. Yeah, parked across the street. Yeah. I go. You got my number. <laughs> Let me know if she leaves the house, dude. Or not even me. I cannot be. It's yeah. probably best. I don't even be involved in it. Call our security. Yeah. Call my tour manager. Yeah. If she leaves the house, yeah. Follow her. <laughs> Bravo inbound. And if she comes <laughs> to the venue, then somebody say what's up. <laughs> like the idea that oh, it's what is that? Let's let's watch the to close out the podcast. Let's yeah. watch that. Hey, nobody's coming for you. You know mm-hmm. that you know that audio, mm-hmm. it's it, it's very popular. It's people make a lot of uh, you know, but no one's coming for you. There it is. Yeah, quote. It's a it's a video. I think it's that right. Is that right there? I think so. Yeah. Gosh, I mean, it's like if you're gonna take anything away from this podcast, take that. It's just so it. Yeah. Nobody's coming for you. No, it's not the government or whatever it is. Is it? Uh, is the internet going slow? Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. That's probably what's her name that I made fun of at the beginning. Glennon, Glennon Doyle. Doyle. The I bottom think. line is, no one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. And there's a tremendous amount of liberation that comes when you accept the fact that you're always going to need to give yourself a push. That's Mel Robbins, for the record. Mel Robbins. Nobody's coming, dude. Crushed. No one's coming. I mean, it's like a different energy that I take away from this podcast. Yeah. No one's coming. No, hey, no one's no one's setting your alarm for you. Mm. And if you got a boss, it's still up to you. Mm-hmm. It's still up to you. Mm-hmm. Gosh, dude, it's so good, dude. Well, and all that said, I hope I don't. I'm not optimistic, but I hope Riley's okay. Of course, of and course, if, of course. If he's not okay, then I hope that uh, the family gets some it's, closure out yeah, of this. Yeah, and it's it, if I if let me just say one thing: if I knew him, uh, that security footage is hor- horrific. It's really sad of watching him being drunk like that. And I think back to a lot of the times that I was drinking and make b- doing that for sure. And and I'm and I'm uh, thank God that nothing happened to me. Yeah, I mean, I, dude, I've been on the road. In cities I didn't know anybody, mm-hmm. just gone. Terrifying to see that. Number two, if if I if I was a, a loved one of this kid and and I saw that TikTok story, I, I mean, yeah. I would be so grateful for to them mm-hmm. and so furious at law enforcement. Mm-hmm. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. You just feel let down. Yeah, it sucks. And then, you, like, like, hey, no, like, no one's coming for you. Mm-hmm. No one's like, oh, the cops are, the cops are on it. I doubt it. Yeah. Hey, they're on the. Uh, hey, they're they're working on the uh, the potholes. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. No, they're not. They're not. Hey, Delta, they lost your bag. They're working on it. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. It's gone. It's up to you to put an air tag in it. Yep. That thing is gone. Take some personal responsibility for your life. And I'm going to do it this week. Uh, but fact check. We have one fact check for the show. Oh, Justin Timberlake brought out NSYNC. Yep. They did be doing that. And yep. it is March the 20th. Um, um, a couple, I'm a little bit late. But I said before Christmas they would announce a tour together, which they have not. But we're moving in that direction. Mm-hmm. And I do owe a lot of people some merch. And uh, we're going to get that fulfilled this week. Good looking out, everybody. 
this 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 uh podcast is is make me continue going down the prepping uh going down the prepping road yeah i haven't been gambling okay and i've been saving a lot of money on parking i haven't been paying anything and i've been making a lot of money have you uh been hit with any <laughs> have you been hit with any oh i got hit with a uh uh it wasn't a, it was like hey we noticed that you haven't registered to park in this lot so go on to uh this app oh because the whole city now is all that it's all yeah auto like set up in your app yeah. it's all prepaid all that and then you can prepaid. you can go you into stuff like you can the, the controversy was you can drive into a parking lot and then there's no parking spots and drive out but they already got you yeah but the first hour is free so you get out on it yeah. no problem uh making a lot of money there good and i've been saving it on the gambling so good let's go hey, baby hey. uh net positive we'll see you next week I mean, yeah sure it was a little weird but on the net, net on the on the it, it, it was a positive but it was a positive <laughs> you cannot be serious but on the net, it's a positive.